Okay, let's try this board now. Let's see if you guys remember this. This is actually one of my favorite boards. The Grid 600. pretty weird if I didn't put ESD protection. Um, so that's the thing. For the KBD67 Mark II, I designed the the soldered one, but Moyi designed the hot swap one. So two different designers. Oh no no, that's old. That's an old one. Perfect. Okay, good. Hooray! Did I ever finish porting the lighting module? I could, I have not found a suitable cable yet, so I'm still waiting to find one. Um, I've been told that a quick, like a quick connector works as well. So that's probably something I'll look into in the future. But for the time being, it's kind of like a really low priority for me. seem to find my my Sirius anywhere. It's probably in one of my boxes. I'm gonna look at this board. Ah, uh, this is gonna be easy. JST SH one millimeter. Okay, perfect. Here we go. It's my clipper. No wait, this is a Fial. <laughs> All tray mount, doesn't matter, right? Okay. Old. 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 
all and all perfect. My fiel is all old. Excellent. Makes me happy. Oh yeah, if you guys haven't seen a fiel before, got an all purple one. Beautiful. Serious. I don't know where it is. in one of my boxes here. Uh, gosh. I don't, I actually, I legit don't know where that board is. Here, Cozy, let's take a look at yours again. See if any of them are old or new. So I might have to harvest this board for its stabs. If I want to build anything. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Backspace is old. Enter is old. Spacebar is old. And shift is old. But these are also PCB mounts. So okay, no, I I don't need to like harvest these. That's fine. No need for harvest. Oh, Kosi, while, while I have you on stream, um, do any of your boards come with ESD protection? Do you have like an e ESD chip? Because I'm looking at this right now and I don't remember soldering any kind of ESD for it. Okay, yeah. Uh, I'm missing my Sirius. I don't know where my Sirius is. I feel like I've already gone through all my all my boards. <laughs> It'll pop up one of these days. Not the through hole one, says Cozy. Okay. Is there no through hole ESD chip? SMD it's easy, but through hole there isn't a nice single component bidirectional suppressor. Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. Ugh, I'm annoyed. I don't know where that that Sirius is. Oh wait, I think I know where it is.
Oh well. It's not there. You stole it. I was hoping you wouldn't notice. <laughs> yeah, I I don't know where it is. Last I remember, I put it in a TX case. But I can't find that TX case anymore. Mm. Could be in a box as well. I'll find it. Probably by Tuesday I'll like have it out here, but I have a suspicion that because that, that was one of the later boards that I built, that it probably has the retooled stabilizers as well. Like I know I built it before this. Actually, yeah, I built it before this. And this one only had one old one. So there's a chance that my Sirius will actually have like an even mixture. Who knows? Who knows? Oh, I just wish I could find it right now. No clue where it is. Oh well, okay. The next thing I want to talk about is actually ESD protection. That's another thing. I have been the victim of ESD protection twice already. Um, the first one was with that KBD67 that I just showed you guys. Um, in the middle of a stream as I was using it, it just crapped out on me. And ever since then, it's been off and on, off and on. Like I've tried reflashing it, I've tried clearing the EEPROM, I've tried a lot of things and so far it doesn't, it doesn't really work. <laughs> and the second time actually happened during my last porting with PortStream. I was porting over the Fox Labs Orange 75 and just my luck. At the end of the stream, as I was poking away at the LEDs, I found out that I couldn't flash it anymore and I probably killed it. I probably killed it. So I figured rather than like, I, I have a good idea of which boards have ESD and which don't. And out of all the boards that I showed you today, um, let's see. Actually, all the boards I showed you today don't have ESD protection. <laughs> the only boards I know that have ESD protection uh, is my clue board, which, hold on, let me just grab that. Let me just grab that. There we go. My clue board. Probably the only built board, the only board that I have built that uses ESD protection. Discharged on my KB, oh gosh. Okay, so not this. And the board that, I, that I'm building next that does have ESD protection is going to be hopefully that KBD67 with the with the aftermarket PCB or I mean not the aftermarket but the replacement PCB and my satisfaction 75. So I'm trying to think about what else has has ESD protection. Um, I think the minivan has ESD protection. I think this guy has ESD protection. Let's let's take a look. Let's see. Let's take a peek. Let's take a peek. Yeah, I kind of want to just take an inventory of everything that I own that has ESD protection or not. And yes, if you're wondering what key set this is, this is bootleg bootleg chocolatier bootleg chocolatier I'd be wrong, but it's my understanding that the ESD suppressors are typically just 
protect the ESD from the USB port. So your LED issue with the RN700 might have still happened. That's true, that's true. And it is typically used for the USB port. At least all of the designs I've seen all have it connected next to the USB port, which is better than not having it at all. Like, I'm willing to bet that the ESD stuff will be close to the USB port here. This is a minivan, one of the last minivans. I'm just gonna take it apart briefly. Let's take a look. Does this guy have a chip? Actually, none that I can see. <laughs> this guy doesn't have a chip either. Okay, scratch that. He doesn't have an ESD chip next to the USB port, but does he have an ESD chip anywhere else? No, he does not. Okay, scratch that. Minivan version, what version is this? Let's see anywhere. Does not say it anywhere. Well, one of the minivans, the purple one, does not have ESD protection. There we go. X Bash has Satisfaction 75. Yeah, man. The Satisfaction 75 will be built as soon as I have enough stabilizers like i have three boards that i want to build but i i don't have enough stable stabilizers the ones that i ordered haven't arrived yet so for the time being i'm just sitting sitting tight just sitting tight I actually don't know which way I put these. <laughs> oh well, that's what happens. Satisfaction 75, it's so good. I'm assuming you already built yours. I'm assuming. There we go, all built up. Okay, okay. So I have this whole stack of boards that I've been meaning to build for the longest time. Just cause I was in my big tray mount craze. So I'm gonna go through all of them and just determine which ones have an ESD protection circuit or not. x has no money, dear man. All right. This is a 1UP60 RGB, not the hot hotsop version, but the original soldered version. Um, still uses a mini B, still uses a mini B. Um, one thing that was not popular about this is that it has north facing LEDs. So your Cherry MX caps don't, don't really bottom out too well. Other than that, it is QMK compatible. 
It's got underglow RGBs, but any ESD chip, no, no such chip around the USB port. But what is this over here? I don't know what this is. Let's see if I can Google the number. Let's see what the chip number, maybe that's the ESD chip. Who knows? Let's type it out. Let us type it out. It is a 9926A. ME9926A. What is that? Driving circuit low voltage MOS. Okay, that's not what I wanted. ME9926, what is that? I can't even find a website that talks about it. ME9926. A. It is a, what is it? I don't even know what this chip is. <laughs> All I can tell about is it's a driving circuit low voltage MOS. What does that mean? It's a MOSFET, probably for the LEDs. Okay, there we go. Probably for the LEDs, okay. That is what I needed to know. No, no ESD. So probably not gonna build with it. <laughs> Let's look at our second board. Our second board of the evening is the, I believe these are the, These are my Alps boards from Martin Lutt. And I've heard that he actually does do ESD protection. So this is the Plane 60 Alps version. Plane 60 Alps version. Nice, nice and blue. Does he have a chip? Yes, he's got a chip. He's got a chip. Steve, can you guys see that chip next to the USB-C? Small and black. Look at that. Martin Watt has an ESD chip. Which ESD chip is it? There are actually markings on it. Let's take a peek. Let's take a peek at what it is. JL26. Or is that a U? UL26. Okay. UL26. What does that mean? Let me Google it. UL26. UL26, very low capacitance ESD protection. Woohoo! Awesome. Okay. Plane 60 Alps Edition. Plane 60 Alps Edition has ESD protection. Perfect. Good to know. I will be building with this board, obviously. <laughs> Too bad I can't wrap it up as, as, as well as he did, but oh well. There we go, here's another one. Is this another one? Yes, this is another one. Also has an ESD chip on it. It's this one. Yep, these are all three of the same boards. All of them have that ESD chip. And now, 
This is my original PCB for that board. And as you might have guessed, duck PCBs don't have that chip. Does not have ESD. Yep, another duck board does not have ESD as well. Or does not have ESD protection. Uh, what's this? This is... Oh wait, this is my original PCB for that. This guy also does not have ESD protection. So far, Martin Watt's the only one who has it. What is this? Oh, this is the DO60 made by Doyu Studios in Taiwan. And I see a chip. I see a chip. I see a chip, which is surprising. 99268, okay, no, that's the LED chip. Okay, Doros, Doyos, Do, Doyu Studios DO60 does not have ESD protection either. Okay, here we go. Waldo, Waldo PCB made by Maple Computing, who's actually here in Seattle now. Ja420 says, is that an eagle? Yes, it is. Uh, Waldo PCB also does not have ESD protection. Does not have it by the USB port or anywhere else, actually. So there we go. Also not a contender. Wow, too many PCBs, guys. And here we go. The Pank, the Pank 60, a boot mapper client board. Boot mapper client boards don't have ESD protection. At least I don't think so. Just because they're known to die from ESD. Okay, I see a big chip here. Let me just Google it. Google, Google, Google. Bisorimi, thanks for following. It was good seeing you last week as well at the NorCal meetup. Atmel725, Tiny85. Okay, that is not an ESD chip. Okay, great. Uh, none of these boards have ESD protection. <laughs> Oh look, look what I found. The original plaid. It is a plaid. That's got encoders. <laughs> okay. Back into the case you guys go. Yeah, none of these PCBs that I just dug out actually has ESD protection. This is Jordan. Thanks for joining in. Okay. Um, only Martin Watts PCBs have ESD protection. Like, I know this is a debated subject within the community. Like, is it worth putting ESD in? Um, I think it is, especially the, if the cost is only like half a dollar. Let's see, I have other PCBs that I can examine here. That's just my stock of 60s. I have here an XD84 PCB that I need to desolder because I'm because I want to sell my board because I don't use it anymore. Um, let's take a look. Do you have an ESD chip? No, there is no ESD chip on the USB port anywhere else. Not that I can see. 
So many PCVs, yeah. It's absolutely worth it, it's cheap and easy. Yeah, I know, it's absolutely worth it, but I just demonstrated that only three of my PCVs actually have it. Here, let me pull out some of the boards that I have yet to build. So you guys can see. Yet to build boards. Guys, I found it. It was just in one of my boxes. <laughs> I found my serious. Hooray! Hooray! Okay, while I have it here, I might as well just check those stabs again, right? Old stabs, old stabs. So far so good, folks. And it's a tight case. Also old stabs. Hopefully everything else is an old stab. Looks like a new stab. Oh crap. Okay, that's interesting. On my space bar, one, one of the housings is the old one, and the left one is the new one. Shoots. Okay guys, so for my Sirius, the left stab is new. My space bar, the left housing is new, the right housing is old, but my enter and backspace are both the old ones. So yeah, I, I guess I made a correct guess. So it seems that Novel Keys, which is where I buy my stabs for, started selling the new stabs around the same time that I built my Sirius in that board. Okay. No, despite that, it's not, it's not bad. I'm gonna agree with Vin, with with Vinin again, and just say that, you know, try your best to get, try your best to get the get the old ones, the pre-tooled stabs. But if you can't, um, you know, it's not that big of a deal, honestly. based on how I'm typing right now. Everything I say about how, how how this feels is probably confirmation bi bias, you know? Let's fix 
that up a little bit. The WGM PC says, what 60% PCB should I get to replace the one I killed while desoldering? Did anyone ever do testing on input latency? Well, based on what I was just talking earlier, um, the only PCB that I, the only 60% that I have right now that has ESD protection is the Plane 60. So if you like the Plane 60, if it checks all your boxes, that's the one I would recommend right now. Why can't I put my return key on? There you go. Okay. So this is this is actually my fa my my favorite my favorite board. I like everything about it. I like how it feels. But now that I know that this key is the new this the new stabilizers and this one is half of one, it makes me like second guess myself, you know. <laughs> but I'm gonna try, try my best not to think that way. You were thinking plain 60 or the Zeal PCB. Okay, well. Here. I said earlier I was going to talk about boards that I was building. that I can't wait to build this guy right here the Canon keys satisfaction 75 Woo. yeah we're just gonna look at the PCB just because we're talking about ESD right now does this guy have electrostatic discharge so I can't I don't want to open the PCB just yet, just because it's in this nice case, and and I don't want to do it until I, until I get all my stuff done. But I am seeing a chip. And I'm willing to bet it's ESD, especially since I asked Upos. I said, hey man, do you, do you use ESD? protection chips and he's like yes he does I'm willing to bet that's that's it not hundred percent sure but it would make sense yeah actually he should have pictures of the PCB on his website so let's take a look at that Cannon keys, cannon keys, shop, PCBs, instant 60 PCB. Oh God, it's hard to see. It's really hard to see, but here we go, here we go. Let's do this. Here we go. This is the Instant 60. Um, if you guys, oops, okay, you guys can't see my mouse, huh? Okay, I was gonna say that if you look at where the USB-C is in, then you take a little bit below that. So imagine where the escape key hot swap is. It's that chip right below it. I, I'm willing to bet that's the ESD chip because it looks like the other ESD chips that I've seen. Oh, the Instant 60 has it. Instant 60 has it. What other PCBs? But the ANSI, it's another popular PCB, right?
Okay, I think that chip on the very right underneath the USB-C port, I think that's the ESD chip. He doesn't actually have a photo of the PC. Oh wait, he does. There we go. Look at that. Look at that, it says ESD protect. It even says ESD protect. <laughs> Perfect, okay. ANSI has it, excellent. Okay, um, what's another popular PCB? Um, oh yeah, I, I've got a few more here. I've got a few more. I can show off. So this is another board that I'm currently working with QMK on. Um, last week or so, I got more layouts of, of the Think 6.5 in. And I'm also trying to program the RGBs so that a user can program the RGBs for their escape key and for their badge differently from the rest of their underglow. And if you look at the USB-C portion, there is no ESD chip there either. There is no ESD protection on the Think 6.5. Okay. We are gonna keep looking at other popular PCBs. Uh, one of my favorite PCBs that I always like buying is actually the Zeal 60 PCB. Uh, rather than open up the one that I have, I'm just gonna look at pictures. Um, nope, I'm not seeing an ESD chip. Unless maybe that on the very right, there's that block. That could potentially be it, but it seems too far from the, from the actual USB-C port. Mm, who knows, who knows? It, it could potentially have it but not that. Let's see, I, I'm very curious. Let's see if Clueboard has photos of his PCBs. Parts of uh, PCBs. Ta-da! There we go. Aha, look at that. No, wait, that doesn't look like an ESD chip, does it? That looks just like a regular diode. Okay, which one is this? This is the 2.7. Oh, okay, this is one of the older PCBs. Jackie Render says, how necessary is an ESD chip? Um, a lot of people say it's not necessary, but a lot of people's boards have also died due to ESD. Like, I guess, if you if you live in a very dry environment, the chances of you of your PCB succumbing to ESD is higher than someone who doesn't live in that environment. Like, it's it's the cold season here here in Seattle, and stuff is noticeably drier. Um, so one thing I'm using, to show you guys. I don't have it full right now, but I have a little humidifier. It's a little panda, it's really cute. Magnetic top like that. So basically you fill it up with water up to the fill line, 80 milliliters. You put the panda head back on and you can see there's this little tube here. It's a sponge actually, it's a sponge, you know, and the water seeps through that. There we go. Okay, 
So then I I actually plug it to USB and I turn it on. Once I turn it on, it just mists the air every now and then. Um, it helps. I, I don't think it's necessarily like a high end thing, but it helps, you know, and it's cute. <laughs> it's really cute. So yeah, I'm just going through. Oh wait, I, I didn't even show you guys this. Here we go. This is it. I had the wrong scene up. This is my humidifier. <laughs> And I'll say exactly what I just said, because you guys weren't seeing it. It works by fill, filling this up with water. You know. Then this is a sponge right here. It's a sponge. You, you put it back in here. You turn it on and it just humidifies things. Super cute. Yeah. Okay, let's see. What's another popular PCB these days? Uh, la, 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 la. I can't think of another popular PCB. Mm, group buys. Let's look at current group buys. Too many GMK sets. H hard to find actual PCBs. But yeah, so so this ESD protection thing is very very. It's it's not in a lot of keyboards yet. Um. Okay. So keep in mind, I'm not a PCB designer, but th these are my thoughts. Um. I think that before before we started putting keyboards into metal cases, uh. When, when they were all still in plastic cases, it wasn't such a big deal because you couldn't, you didn't really zap your board that much. But now, as the community is growing, um, we have metal cases for like our boards now. It, I, I've seen so many instances of it, of it dying that I, I can't help say like if, if you're a PCB designer, it's only a few more cents extra to put it in as a safety measure. You know, so like the KBD67 Mark II RGB is known to die to ESD already. And like they've had to recreate the PCB with a new chip and, and ESD protection. That's like, like the R&D that goes into it. Like they could have saved all that money if they had just, I don't know, spent an extra 56 cents or, or like whatever. Uh, KBD fans PCBs. None of the KBD fans PCBs have ESD protection except the newest ones like the 67 Mark II RGB V2 and any of their V2 boards that that you're seeing pop out. Does the original Phantom PCB have one? The original Phantom PCB was run off a Pro Micro, I think, or was it a Teensy? Does the Teensy have it? Ah, uh, let me look. Does the Teensy have ESD protection? I, I kind of, I kind of doubt it. Kind of doubt it. Here we go. Look, that's a Teensy 2.0. I'm not seeing any form of ESD chip. Oh yeah, pro probably not. Cozy says the ones I use are less than 25 cents if you're buying more than 100. Wow, okay. Yeah, I'm not seeing any ESD chip. Okay. Yeah, so if you talk, like, depending on which PCB designer you talk to, some people say absolutely have it. Some people say, no, it's not, it's, it's not usable. And everyone has their own reasons why. Like I've even heard some people say, oh, um, 
the ESD chip doesn't save you that much because if you were to zap your PCB with a large enough charge or like a large enough voltage discharge, um, you it's not going to save it anyway, so why put it in? But it's kind of like, you know, if you're driving a car and you, you don't have your, or if even if, if you have your seatbelt on, if it's a big enough crash, your seatbelt won't save you. <laughs> You know, it's, it's, it's kind of like that, but like I said, I'm not a PCB designer. Um, there are several people in chat even, such as Cozy, who knows a lot more about PCB design than me. If you guys are curious, I'm sure you can pick his brain. Yeah. But it seems like, based on his last chat messages, that he does use ESD protection, so sure. See, Mike Click says Wilbotech WT60. If I can see a photo of the PCB, I can probably look through it. Okay, Thermal the Foundry. I think it's this board, right? No picture of the actual PCB. Even for just one, it's like 40 cents. So yeah, I I don't know. Um, I can't tell if, if the Zeal 60 has it or not based on the photos. Oh, here you go, Mechanisk. Let's take a look. Okay. Um, nothing but the, oh wait, I have to change scenes. Here we go. This is it. This is a WT60-D PCB. If you look at it, there's no ESD chip there, but I have no clue what this is. This thing right here. here. You guys see how, how, how the traces go from the USB-C and snakes all the way to this rectangular thing, J2? I don't know what that is. That could be an ESD protection chip. No clue. And that's also... That's also present on the Zeal 60. Okay. Yeah, I just wish it, it would be more like, um, who was it? Canon Keys, where, where he actually labels the ESD protection chip. Here, I'll go show you guys again. This, this is funny. There you go, see? Oh wait, I need an actual photo. There we go. See that? The chip is actually, it's like over here underneath that U, that USB-C port. ESD space prot. You think that's for a daughter board? I think it's JST. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I have no clue. But look, see? It's actually labeled ESD prot. <laughs> so yeah, this isn't... Yeah, I, I, I would like to see future PCBs have this implemented. Um, the fact that KBD fans is already pulling boards. Um, there is one such person I'm talking to on the KBD fans Discord. He's saying that he got, that he bought a new board, but it's not being sent to him until it's fully tested. And even with my experience, Wei told me that that he's gonna send me the V2, not not the current RGBs. Cozy labels his too. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, um, what other PCBs can we check? I, I wonder if the mass drop boards have it. Drop alt. Japanese Horror Rider, thank you so much. And nice seeing you last, last week as well. It's funny because I, I was looking for you, so I went up to um, someone, I think I went up to like Pyrol or something, and, and it was like, are you Japanese horror writer? And he's like, no, 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 I'm not. Darn, I need a photo of the 
drop alt PCB. Here we go. Drop alt PCB. Let's see if they have a photo close enough to the USB-C port that I can examine. Jack Statics says CA66 dead twice, Tofu dead twice, need ESD pro, otherwise I don't want USB-C. Uh. Uh. I want a picture of the whole board, not just the bad tracing. Drop all PCB picture. Drop control. How about that? Nope. No picture. No picture. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Here we go. Here we go. Control. Who's this guy by Ricky? Ricky Song Su. Guess we're watching. A YouTube video. I just want to see his thumbnail. I want to see his thumbnail or does he... Aha! 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 Here we go. Here we go. Let's see if we can... Maybe... Show me the USB-C port, buddy. There we go. That's a USB-C port. But it's too blurry. I can't see if there's any USD chips there. Oh, wait. This board has two ports, doesn't it? Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Did you already look at the M65 PCB, says Bobby McBobby? No, I have not. But the M65A is a bootmapper client board, so it does not have ESD. Um, 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 um. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, so this is the drop control. I'm not seeing anything that looks like an ESD chip. But then again, my knowledge about what one looks like is also very limited, limited to the ones that I've seen. <laughs> and these could be ESD chips. Could be, don't know. Don't know, yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Okay, let's look at, let's go look at the, aren't there two versions of the M65A? Probably, but what, that's a Rama board, right? Let's do M65B. Rama works. Let's take a look. Let's take a look if these PCBs are even shown. Nope. I actually really want like the yellow one. Like this, this to be guys, this is, yellow is my favorite color. And seeing a board like this makes me really want it. But 390 is a steep price to pay. <laughs> A steep, steep price to pay, especially since I already have a Doro. Like, obviously it's not going to be as nice as this, but I've got a Doro that looks close enough to this. I don't want to spend another small fortune for it. But yeah, I can't see a photo of a PCB. So, who's the one who asked me that? Someone asked me about the... M65, Bobby Mc, McNobby. If you look on the second link on Google. Oh, this one really. Okay. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Where is your USB-C port? Nope. Nope, that did not give me the photo that I needed. Even this circuit board right here doesn't tell me anything. Nope. You want M65B. Mm. 
Let's see what the keep talk people say about this. Uh, yeah, no. I, I don't know. I don't know. Center USB probably. Yeah, I don't know if, if Wilba does ESD protection. You know, he's a very good PCB designer, so I, 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 I'd imagine he does. Um, oh yeah, let's go look at Yankar. So I should have asked him this when, when he was visiting me, but you know, it, like we were, we were talking about Washington, not really like keyboards as much. <laughs> HS60, V2 PCB. Actually, the V3 is what's coming out. Oh look, it's my video. Here, Daily Clack. Let's take a look at Daily Clack. No, I want to see the back of the PCB. Here we go. Back of the PCB. Can we see anything there? Wait, that's not the back of the PCB. I want the, f the back. Where's the back? It's the same side. What? Okay, I guess I'm not seeing it. Mm. Image search on Google, maybe? Well, that's, that's my photo. No, wait, that's still not the back of the PCB. Aha! Wait, this is the DZ60. Okay, we know the DZ60 doesn't have, have ESD protection. We, we, we already know this, but it's fun to just take a peek. Oh, it's too small to see. Yeah, that, that didn't really help. Um... With me just staring at the screen here, I'm not seeing an, an ESD chip either. Uh, okay. But you know what we can look for, right? Let's look at the I designed one. Soldered, here we go. He probably has good photos. Oh, look at that. Look at that ESD chip. Look at that ESD chip. Good on you, IO3. Okay. Let's see. Uh, yeah, um, oh, it's 419 already. Okay. I guess, yeah, I think I've covered most of what I wanted to cover today. I can't build anything right now. I, I, I don't have enough stabilizers. And I'm also kind of like being super picky about this ESD business. I, I have a few boards that I know don't have it. The D060 doesn't have it. The HS60 doesn't seem to have it either. So nothing I own or nothing that I have built other than my clue board has ESD protection, which significantly worries me. <laughs> So, you know, knock on wood, right? Here, I'm gonna knock on wood. <laughs> okay. Yeah, um, if, if you guys happen to talk to any of the PCB designers, um, ask them if they implement ESD protection in, into their designs. I would be very curious to know who does, who doesn't, and why or why not? You know, for something that only costs less than a dollar? Why not, right? Like, like, I would really want to know why. You made it back in time for the EOS end of stream. Cool. Okay, well, um, thanks guys for watching. 
hopefully tomorrow actually tomorrow hold on you know i am waiting for stuff in the mail where did i put my phone let's see did i get any messages yes at 2 58 p.m i got some mail so hopefully that's my stabilizers and hopefully i can build something hopefully but yeah Thanks guys for watching. Uh, I'll catch you tomorrow evening for another keyboard chore stream. Um, hope you guys found this to be more, more informational as I sorted through all of my stabs, figuring out which ones were new, which ones were old, which ones I should keep and which ones I should toss. Um, earlier I asked who wanted my stabs and I think a few people perked up. Um, shoot me a message on Discord if you want stabs. Um, these are, I'd rather them go to someone who could use them rather than me just throwing them away. Um, keep in mind, these are not cherry. These are not zeal. These are no name stabs, which I do not think work very well. But if you have any cheap builds and you just want stabs, I'll send them your way. But yeah, hope you guys have a good rest of your Saturday and I will catch you tomorrow evening. Goodbye now.